Hi everyone, welcome back to day 40 of our 100 days SQL challenge. In this video, we are going to solve one of the really interesting SQL questions that was asked recently in an Amazon data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says that you are given a table, which is a delivery table. You have delivery ID, customer ID, order date and the customer preferred delivery date. So if you see here is the data sets and it says write a SQL query to calculate the percentage of immediate orders among the first order of all customers. The result should be rounded to two decimal. Now here is the definition. It says if the preferred delivery date of the customer is the same day as the order date, then the order is classified as immediate orders. Otherwise it is classified as scheduled orders. So out of the total orders, we need to find out the immediate orders so that we can find the percentage. So the percentage is going to be the immediate orders divided by the total orders and then multiply with 100. That is how we will be able to find out the immediate order percentage. Now there is a catch. So the catch is that if, if the customer first order delivery date and the order date is the same, then only it is going to call as a immediate orders. So first of all, we need to find out if the order is the that customer first order, if that is true, then we need to find out if that delivery date is the same as the order date. Yes, then it is a immediate orders and that's how we will be able to find the percentage. So let's see the data sets. So I would just go ahead and execute it. And uh, if you see, we have, this is the data sets. So let's kind of see one by one. Let me just do order by, by which is called customer's ID, customer ID. So let's do an order by, by customer's ID and let's see the data sets. So if you see for this customer's ID one, it has done two orders. Okay. So this is the first order. So that's 2019 August 11 and the delivery is a different. So the second order for customers one again, first August 20, 2019, the delivery is the second August. So they are not the immediate orders. Okay. Now if you see the customers ID two, so let's see their first order. So the first order for this customers ID two is going to be this one, which is called second August of 2019 and the delivery date you can see, which is the preferred delivery date is the same date the order date right so this is going to be the immediate orders we will only check for each customer the first order okay even if both are same still we will not check that because for each customers we would check their first customers first order and we will check if their order date and the delivery date is same if yes then it is immediate orders okay same way we can check for three so for three you can see that this is the order date so this is the i think initial order is this this one which is 21st of august and the uh, delivery is the second day. So this is not going to be considered. But if you see the customer ID four, we only have one orders, same date, the order date and the delivery dates. So we have two orders which are immediate. So one is this one and one is, I guess, this one. So these are the two orders out of all these orders. So how many orders we have? So we have total seven orders. Out of seven orders, we have two orders which are scheduled as kind of the same day delivery. Okay. So now we would need to find out the percentage. So in the percentage, we would need to find out the total orders out of total orders, how many orders are immediate, right? That's how we would be getting the percentage. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. So I'm going to use a window functions a row number to solve this problem. You can use uh, any approach, maybe join as well. So window function row is I find is more easy approach to solve this problem. Okay. So first let's go ahead and select everything from the table. Okay. Then I'm going to use a row number, row number and I would say over and I will be doing partition. So what I want is for each customer's first order, I want to give the row number one. Okay. So I would say partition, I would say partition by customer ID. Okay. And while doing partitions, I want to do an order by, by the order ID. So first order of that customer get row number one. Okay. So I would say order by what, which is called order date. Okay. So this is fine. This is, I'm going to call it RN. Okay. So let me just run this query and uh, you can see for each customers, the first order is uh, given row number one. So you can see for the customer study one, the first order is the first August and the second order was placed on 11th August, right? So this, this is the first order getting row number one. So for this one, if you see, so for this one as well, the first order is the second August and uh, that's kind of getting row number one. And uh, for this one, the first order is 20, uh, 21st August. That's getting row number one. And this one only one order, so row number one, okay? So fine, now what I need is that I would just need to filter the data based on this row number one. And then I would check if this date and this date is same, then I would just call them as an immediate, okay? So that is what I'm going to do. So first of all, let me save this in a CTE. So I would just go ahead and say that with delivery CTE S, 
so in this delivery city i am saving this entire data along with this row number that i have created using window functions okay so now what i need is that i would be only selecting the data where this row number is one okay so for that i would just go ahead and say select okay select everything from which table from this delivery cte and i would say where rn equals one okay so that is how i would be getting each customers and their first order okay you can see we have total four customers so fourth four order we can see it here and each of these orders have the row number one that means these are the first order so now here i just need to check if this order date and this customer preferred delivery date are the same okay so for that what i can do is that i can simply go ahead and uh, use a simple case statement here so i can say case okay when then okay so when what i want to check i want to check if this order date okay order date equals to this customer prefer delivery date okay so here i would say customer okay prefer pref and i would say delivery date okay so if this is the same now if this is same then i want to call it immediate else i want to call it as a schedule orders okay and i want to close the case so i would say end okay so this is fine let me just now run this query and uh, you can see now i have a two schedule orders and two immediate orders correct so schedule orders one and here is one more so two schedules orders one immediate order one immediate orders okay so we have two immediate orders now the thing is that we want to check the percentage of immediate orders okay so out of total orders if you remember total orders we have i think seven total orders if you just check this table total orders we have which is called a seven so out of seven only two orders are immediate so that means we need to find out the percentage okay so the way we can do it is a little a different way here we can either instead of this case we can save this data in another cte and then we can use this immediate and we can count how many immediate are there if it is immediate then we can call it maybe one or i can do it here as well so i am going to use one more cte to kind of you know make it more interesting so here what i will do is that i would just give a name here call maybe order type okay so this is just a column name i have given let me just show you everything again so this kind of return with this schedule and immediate okay so this is a uh, fine now i would just go ahead and save this in one more cte so i would just go ahead and say that call first order okay first order cte that's fine and i would just use as alias and i am going to put this query in the brackets because this ct consider the first orders okay so this is fine now what i have i have one ct which is called first order that has kind of some information that i need so let me just show you everything from this first order okay so i would say from first order let me just run everything till here and you can see the first orders i have kind of this schedule immediate right this data okay so i can simply here i can count how many immediates are there right so for that i can use one more case here and i can maybe that's one way i can do that or i can kind of use it multiple way i can simply say where and i can say order type okay equals this uh, immediate right so this is how it's going to give me all the immediate orders okay so that's only two okay so i have a uh, two immediate orders i can use a count here i can say count of star so that means i have two immediate orders let me run this so you see i have a two immediate orders now i need to find the percentage now here i need the kind of the all orders we have in our main table which is called delivery table okay so in this a uh, table so for that what i can do i can use a simple sub query i can go ahead and say select count of count of star from main table okay which is called our delivery table so because this query is going to return us what if we just run this query this returns seven okay so what we are saying is that count this count is two divided by seven that's how we would have the percentage i can just use 100 okay and we need to round the results we will do that later on let's run it we are not getting any results that's because of the division error so here we would just need to kind of convert it using numeric so this is for postgres so numeric okay this is what you need to type so that you kind of don't get conversion error okay let me now run it you see now we have 28 percent orders which are set as immediate orders okay so here we got the results we just need to round this result to two decimals so let me just organize my query a bit 
so let's go ahead and now use a round functions to round it okay so i can say round of uh, this round and i will be using two okay and i would save it as uh, and i'm going to save it as immediate order percentage okay so let's run this query and uh, Mm, let's see what is going wrong okay i given i have given the comma after two it should be before two okay let's run this query and uh, we will see the results so immediate order percentage is 28 percent 0.57 okay so this is one way to solve it you can make it little simple if you are getting maybe confused here okay you can go through this query now i'm going to show you a little bit a simple approach instead of doing this i can do this thing here only so that's where maybe you will be finding it little difficult but you can go through this one okay so let me show you that approach so for that what i will do is that i am going to just reuse this query so here i'm saying where this order date equals to customer preferred delivery date then immediate so instead of that i would say then one okay otherwise i would say kind of zero okay so i hope you got it so here i'm just going to cancel this i'm just going to delete this column name and this n logic i can simply put in a kind of brackets and outside i would use a sum okay so that means now i'm just counting how many immediate orders i have from this query that's fine i would just use uh, uh, the division sign and here i would just use this total count of orders i have in my main table count of orders from the delivery tables okay i would just need to use this a numeric to ensure that i don't get any error so i would just use uh, outside this n here i am going to use numeric okay so this is a fine now i would not need all those things so i would simply go ahead and uh, kind of show you the results let me first delete this as well and uh, let me delete this as well let me delete this as well so we only have one cte where i am creating this window functions row numbers and here i simply have use this columns based on this row number okay i am just kind of based on this row number i am selecting that data and then i am saying order date equals to preferred date then one otherwise zero i am using sum to see how many one are there so maybe there are two which we already have checked earlier then i am just dividing by kind of the total orders from the global table which is called delivery tables and i'm just need to multiply with 100 right so that's how i would be getting percentage so multiply with 100 and I would just need to use a round function. Let me first see if in case it is working. So at the moment we have 28%, you can see it here. We already have the results. We would just need to use a round functions. So let's use a round functions outside round. And I would just use two comma two, okay? And here I can just keep the same name, which is called percentage immediate order percentage, okay? so that is how we have solved this a problem let me just run this query and uh, you will see that we have percentage which is 28.57 okay. now in the comment box you can let me know which approach you like the most okay this one or this one okay like which approach you you kind of you know felt easy so you can let me know in the comment box if you have any different approach to solve this problem do share in the comment box that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you're new to this channel do subscribe to my channel and i will see in the next video till then keep learning and stay consistent have a good one take care bye bye